generally within a week of placing your order, your product will show up at your doorstep. All of our products are packaged in 2x2 two two panels and boxed 48 to a box. Plan on your installation taking about two hours. Here are the tools you may need. Make sure you use these tools in accordance with the manufacturer's safety guidelines. Before you get started, you're going to want to remove everything off the floor, all your toolboxes, your refrigerator, everything. Secondly, what I like to do is sweep all the dirt and debris that's on the floor. Just get everything out because you're going to put the floor directly on top of anything that might be there. If you have access to a weed blower, that works great in this situation as well. Hey, and if you got kids, this makes for a great family project. Get them out there on the broom helping you out. Make sure to refer to your custom layout that you designed on Racetech.com before you begin your installation. You will begin the installation at the garage door and work your way to the back of the garage. Start by marking the concrete floor where the garage door closes. This will be the leading edge of your new flooring. Measure the width of your garage to locate the center of your floor. It's critical to locate the center of your garage to make sure your floor design lays out correctly. The interlocking mechanism of your floor consists of two parts, the female loop and the male tab. Start in the top corner at the opening of the garage. You'll want the loops facing away from the garage door and the wall that you started closest to. It's important to allow a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch of gap around any wall or obstruction to allow for expansion. With your next sheet of tile aligned in the same direction as your first sheet, lay the tabs on top of the loops and lock them into place with your feet. Continue this process until the first row is complete. Now at the front of the garage, you will build the rest of the floor in an L pattern. Make sure you keep the loop and tab direction the same as you did on the first row. Now that the L border is complete and centered, you can start laying the tiles inside the L per your design. In this particular instance, we're working with a row that is one tile wide. To unlock the tiles, simply place them over your knee, top side up, and apply pressure on the sides until they unsnap. Do not do this bottom side up or you'll damage the locking system. It's not rocket science. It really is just lining them up and stepping them into place. You'll see that the installation is so easy, even your kids will want to come out and help. When you come up against a wall or obstruction, no sweat, leave the tile out and trim it in later. Now you're ready for ramp edging. When it's necessary to cut a ramp edge, go ahead and mark your edge cut it with a utility knife or the race deck shear. Remember to leave the half inch to three quarter inch expansion gap around any obstruction. Now return to the areas that you left out for trimming. Allow a half of an inch gap for expansion, mark the tile, trim it, and install it. If it's necessary to remove a tile, insert a rigid putty knife in the gap between the two tiles and pop them up. So in less than two hours, without the mess, the odors and hassles of epoxies, paints, or adhesives, you've transformed a nasty garage floor into a showroom.